Δόξα το Θεό, δόξα το Θεό, δόξα το Θεό, καλά περνάμε, δόξα το Θεό. Hello, my name is George Alexandrupolis. We are going to cook sansiki. In the rest of the world it is called the cucumber sauce that comes in the heel. But in Greek it's sansiki. And to help me today is my American cousin John. But you can call him Yanni. Come Yanni. Hey Yorgo. Hey Yanni. How are you? Nice to see you. Good to see you. Welcome Mwah. back. Mwah. 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 <laughs> Very good cousin. Very good. Hello everyone. We feed him well in Greek. <laughs> so, what we need to do to make the sensigi sauce? First, we need the cucumber. You have American cucumber? Or you have the English cucumber? The American one is okay. It's a very watery. The English one is not so watery. So, it's better to use the English. And you have the Greek yogurt. Of course, Greek yogurt comes from Greek goats. <laughs> and Greek goats, they work hard. So, and this is drained. It's not watery like uh, the other standard plain the yogurt. You, you, yes? Okay. It's uh, Greek yogurt, so it's better than the other yogurt. Uh, that's right. Because everything Greek is it's good better. and better. <laughs> look at my cousin. Look at your muscle. Bravo, bravo. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> then we need a lemon. And uh, we need the salt, alas, uh, and then we need the dill. And, of course, we start with the garlic. And if you don't have any uh, issues with uh, the garlic and no press, you use a knife. If you have any problems, we have a better knife. You also get me the better knife. The better knife? Yes. Ah. In the Greek village, we don't have little cooking knives. In Greek village, we have proper knives. Yorgo, here you go. Thank you. Like this one. It's a very good knife. It cuts everything. From cucumber to dill to lemon. It's everything. But in America, we have to go with the kitchen. <laughs> so, no more food. <laughs> no more. Thank you. Thank you, huh? Thank you Yorgo. Got me? Okay. So. I will get my cousin to do the work because that's the click way. way. <laughs> so, what would you like me to do first? If you can cut the, uh, squeeze the garlic. Garlic? Yes. The whole thing, or how much do we need? Uh, we just need uh, one. One uh, clove. One clove, as we say in America. You'll have to excuse my cousin. His English is not so good. No, I just <laughs> came on the boat uh, yesterday. Uh, it was very rocky. So was the boat. Okay, I'm going to cut up the cucumber. And I'll just keep doing this while you're doing that. Yes. And of course you need more than one knife. So, I will get an extra knife. Voila! <laughs> okay, you cut, and you cut. Now, in the rest of the world, uh, they do in Greece too, you can actually sh shred uh, what do you call in English? Shred. Shred. Or shred. You shred. Yeah. shred. You shred the cucumber. But in the village, we don't have shred. So we use knife and we cut it into chunks. And you're not peeling it? No, you, you don't need to is peel it. Is that because you're lazy or is there, do you like the color or why, why aren't you peeling it? You, you, Flavor. you can peel. Uh, it actually gives a better texture. Okay. Do you want to peel? We peel. No, no, okay. no, no. We peel for cousin John. Yeah, we peel. Who oh, is like my grandma? This this is a thousands year old recipe, right? Oh. Brought brought to us from our ancestors from long ago. And I I don't have the right or ability to change anything to that I would think would make it any different. Uh, no, I. I I'm just I, I just wonder. In your in your village, if they do it different. Yes, in, in, in our village, we we go with what we have. So, oh, just one clove of garlic or more? Just one clove of garlic, very good, bravo, bravo! One clove. And uh, we uh, take the cucumber, we put it in the, in the little bowl. 
because cucumber we need to cut in chunks and also we need to put salt because otherwise it's very runny and you know the very runny sauce is not very good so that's why we put salt in it and it doesn't matter how we do it it doesn't have to be perfect even though us Greeks are perfect it'll taste perfect but we'll do it not very good <laughs> yeah yeah tell us what she did oh okay so you want to cut more? Sure, I can do it. Okay. There you go. bro. Okay. So, while it's in the bowl, you see it's in bowl, yes. We get the salt and you sprinkle a little salt over it. Just for it to drain. Oh, you're very good. Mashallah to make you. Bravo. Okay. Now, I, while you cut the cucumber, I, I will cut the, I will get the yogurt and I will put it in a bowl. It's your bowl. So all of this goes in here? Yes. Yorgo, how many times do you make this? Eh, in my lifetime, thousand? Three, no, five three, thousand? three times. Three times? Three times. And do you use this, um, Normally, do you serve it as an appetizer, as a, um, with, what do you normally eat this with, or do you serve it with meat, or do you... Uh, you serve it with whatever you want. Uh, uh, are we having soup like today? We're having, no, we're having meat no, bread, okay. right? Oh, um, okay. But normally my wife, she, she does all of You told me there'd be soup like today. But it's okay. Get bread smashed. But my wife is not here, I cannot make soup okay. like about my wife. She gets me upstairs. When did you get married? Like, Sophia? Yes. My Sophia? No, no, no. This is Sophia from the other village. Okay. Yeah. The other Sophia. She, she's a very big woman. Okay. And she eats a lot. Say no more. I understand. I understand. Okay. So uh, we need a bowl for the uh, the yogurt. Uh, as I say, this is Greek yogurt. Good Greek yogurt. Bravo. Big enough. Bravo. Masha. Okay. Uh, we need. Kudala. Kudala. Four. Yes. Perfect. I was prepared. See, this is just covered. Every now and then I am prepared. Okay. You see, it's a lot thicker than the plain yogurt we'll that you buy. Upside down, show them. You see, look. See? It's not even full. See, very good Greek yogurt. It came from a good goat. Very good goats are very good goats. Hard working goat. Okay. Now, you put what you like in there. It's, it's no problem how much, how little. Uh, just depends on how many people you want to invite. Yorgo, yeah. this recipe makes for how many people or how many servings, would you say? We agree. Not my servings, I mean it's one. Oh, but yes. But for, okay. for other people. Well, in, in the Greek village we have uh, 25, 20, 22 people are related. So it makes uh, for uh, 22 people. 22 people. 22 people. Because okay. Xeni, the other people, they come and they like, and so we help them. Well, you, you, never, you can never make too much. No. And in a Greek household, you never go hungry. So, right? Never. I've, I've never seen hunger or known hunger in my That's life. That's right. <laughs> never hungry. So, will we have the, the recipe and the quantities? At the end of our uh, video here, or yes, uh, yes. Uh, so we're not telling them how much of anything we're putting in. So a little of this and a little of that is the Greek way. Okay. What you do is you put all the cucumber you want in the bowl that you like of yogurt and the dill, and then you put some salt and the lemon, and you just taste until you like the flavor. And if you want more, then you put more. Mm -hmm. If you want less, you just go by sight. Is taste. Uh, taste. taste and taste. Okay. No, by sight, but you want to know how well, much. But well, you see with your nose. But of course, <laughs> okay. well, my nose is always in front of me. <laughs> okay. And what a Greek nose it is. Too. Okay. That's what my papa said. Okay, our next step. Okay. So next step is we get to the cucumber. There's a cucumber. Now we put a salt on it, so a bit more. So that way it will not be so runny. Okay? You mix it. Ah, ah look at that. You cut very good. Yeah, mm -hmm. very, very good. Okay. Put dill. Dill, you just put what you think. 
You know, if it's too much, it's okay. You put more yogurt. So yogurt you mix with the dill. Then we put the salt. Because salt goes with everything. The spice of life. How about the the sea sea salt? No sea salt salt sea salt. Yeah. I learned that on the plane <laughs> and on the boat <laughs> and in the taxi and then you put a bit of lemon so lemon no matter a real lemon if you have yeah, you put a real lemon if you have uh, this lemon it's from our plastic tree outside it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's a very good oh plastic God. tree <laughs> you should make more <laughs> and you see and you just mix it's a very simple it's not very difficult to make now I'm teaching this like we would in the Choryo, the village. Okay. So, and now we're ready to put the cucumber. You want to taste first? You could taste. Just a little bit? Yes. You need more? A little more lemon? A little more lemon. Mm -hmm. little more lemon. Okay. See? It's, it's not very difficult. Alright. Now. If you ever think it's too runny, you'll get more yogurt. Like this. A little runny. So, get more little yogurt. It's just to make it thick. Because Greeks, we like thick. See my wife. See my cousin. <laughs> Alright. Now, the cucumber. Which was diced but not too finely. No. And the, the reason and, and not peeled for color and texture. No. You you can peel if you like. It's, it's no problem to peel. Uh, I like uh, the crunch when it's in the yogurt. Now, as you as I said before, you can shred it, and that will be thinner. But uh, this, when you're in the village, you know, look around for kitchen this and kitchen that. You just take what you have. One thing to remember, if you do shred it, you want to squeeze the excess water out. So, again, Correct. it's not too run. Correct. Or you could put the salt. And then we mix. So, as you're mixing, can I cut a few pieces? Absolutely. No. Okay, I'm going to try. Don't tell me it has too much lemon left, though. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. A little bit more dill. You see, it's just, uh, you, you practice, and if you ever make extra, you have plenty of friends. They will come and visit. Now, see, mix So, the tzatziki and pita, what else goes with this? What, what else could you, you serve with this with? You can have souvla. As an appetizer, mm -hmm. olives. Uh, olives, we don't octopus. Have any olives today. Oh, octopus. Octopus, uh, calamari. You can have... Seafood, uh, mussels, actually, with meat or seafood. Bravo, yeah. okay. uh, In England, keep stirring. Yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> you see? Are we going to add the more cucumber? Or you think that's? I will. We'll, we'll add more. Okay. Uh, in England, they put this with toast. They put toast, and they have this with toast. Yeah. So there's many, many. Do they ways. call it something different in England? In England and in Cyprus, which is another Greek place, we call it um, talaturi. 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 And in Greece they call it tzatziki. Tzatziki in Greece. Which sounds Japanese actually. Tzatziki. Uh, I thought that, that was a samurai sword you pulled out earlier. No, but it's, 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 it's a, a Greek, Greek sword. It's a Greek sword. Do, so I, do I look samurai? It's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. You live here too. <laughs> you need to go back home to our village. <laughs> It's more Greek. <laughs> <laughs> I would speak to your wife about it, but she's right over there. Zadziki. Hello. Zadziki. Doesn't that sound Japanese? Zadziki. Zadziki. No. Zadziki. Yeah. Well, everything is Greek, you know. Oh, that's okay. true. Okay. That's everything where, is Greek. So that's where they got it from. That's where they. <laughs> <coughs> A bit more lemon. So, what would you normally? Okay, if this this is a. Uh, 
Friday or Wednesday evening and we're sitting around gathering with friends about to have dinner possibly and we're going to have some tzatziki, some pita bread and something else might go with it. I was hoping you'd say Uzo. Uzo. I was hoping you'd say because we just happen to have a bottle right here. Bravo. So. See, I think he's more Greek than American. <laughs> mm. It's a very good. I like my cooking. My wife, uh, she okay with my cooking, mm -hmm. but uh, Friday nights after a few bottles of Uzo, she loves my cooking. Giorgo, yeah. I just realized, I did oh, garlic. you earlier that yeah. we didn't... Garlic. Now, Valumendo garlic, we have to put the garlic in. And while you're doing that, I'll pour a few Uzos, if you don't mind. No, 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 you go right ahead. Okay. And whilst the garlic in, oh. That's where you get a little bit of kick. Normally I get a kick from my wife, but <laughs> she's not here. She comes next week. Are we ready to taste test? Yes. Yeah. All right. Together? One for you. All right. One for me. You just dip. You know. You get a nice piece of the cucumber. Oh, oh man. Not bad if I say so myself. Not, not bad. Not as good as Yaya's. No, nothing is as good as Yaya's, but this is very Yamas. good. Cheers. Yamas. Cheers. And to our next segment, which will be what? Cut the boil coffee. water. <laughs> and make Greek coffee. Greek coffee. Cheers. Cheers. Greek coffee. Cheers. Yes. 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 Uh, thank you for watching and next segment will be Greek coffee and uh, you will see my cousin John again or Yanni to yeah. everybody else. Yes, that's everyone. Okay. Thank you for joining us. Bye-bye. Thank you. <laughs> Δόξα τω Θεώ, καλά περνάμε.